What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE 12, The Road to WrestleMania. And I know it says WrestleMania. We did leave off at Mania, so I'm going to hit X here and find out what in the blue hell the deal is. This rivalry 11 months later, wait, what? Ever since Miz to Time skip? And now Miz Are we anime now? What? In a world of okay. Yeah, everything Orton's done, Miz has been able to counter. Uh-oh. Orton's up high. The table is right there. If Miz can put Orton through it, we'll have a new WWE champion. And it's what? time to play the game. That's Triple H. We haven't seen him in nearly a year. Well, Did he tear his quad again? Oh, there goes that. The Orton wins. That momentary distraction just cost Miz the match. Randy Orton and Triple H have worked together. Uh -oh. oh. I don't believe it. Evolution is a mystery. It's a mystery. There's no alliance here. Oh, Michael, did you see how Triple H got up? I did. Triple H is here, but what condition is he in? What condition are his quads in? A larger question, who won King of the Ring that year? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday Night Smackdown. King, it was just five days ago that the WWE Universe witnessed an historic WrestleMania. Oh, it was absolutely unbelievable. Not only was Randy Orton able to retain his WWE Championship, but we saw the return of the game, Triple H. And get ready for this, King. Triple H is now a part of SmackDown. Wow. Yay. I don't think Friday nights will ever be the same. The game. Here we go. Zack Ryder. Uh, hey, Ryder. Remember when I beat you in the King of the Ring qualifiers? That happened. You know where my also, dressing room is? Nah, I guess not. Why are you on SmackDown now, Zack? What's... Get Zacked. Anyway, welcome to a fine Wednesday here on the program. There are things to discuss involving the events of SmackDown, but also of again, 2K19. Woo! And we'll get to that here uh, shortly. But first, I'm looking for a dressing room for the game. None of these doors have the X button on them, so I guess we're not going to go in any of these doors. So let's gingerly walk here on our surgically prepared leg or whatever and find a cutscene to trigger. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. Well, well, well. Oh, hey. Look who's hobbled in. Listen, just because I didn't smash your face in the canvas... Don't think for one second you and I are finished. No, you listen. Things have changed since you were last here. After I essentially ended oh, your okay. career, I went on to win the King of the Ring. They addressed it. Cool. So, just like I told you a year ago, I'm the new King of Kings in the WWE. And Triple H, if you get in my way again, well... Let's just say what happened last time would be considered humane. But are your buddies that helped you last Man, time I on? We were PG right now. <laughs> on SmackDown, or did Swagger and Dolph also get put on SmackDown, or was it just hey, Miz by himself? Welcome back. Thanks. Say, you know if my locker room's this way? Yeah, it's down at the end of the hall. What's uh? Oh, hey, I'm taking Seamus' old locker room. Imagine that. You there? Man, you know, I'm not sure I can do this. What? I said I'm not sure I can do this. You know, I'm going to be gunned for big time. My leg's still not all there. I mean, I couldn't even find my dressing room today. What? I don't want to get into it. What do you think I should do? Oh, Big Sexy. Stick him. Why is Big Sexy here? Power on Triple H in the back. It's not... It was bad enough that he interfered in that CM Punk business. Forget this. I'm out. Did that just happen? Oh, hey, Dolph. You are here on SmackDown. And you're playing his theme song because he's mad. About something. But why was Nash there? Kevin Nash, LOL, thought he was dead. Anyway, let's take out our frustration and talk about what's going on. Uh, who... Oh, he, he graffitied my, my door. 
Thanks, Dolph. Thanks, Dolph. That's very immature graffiti, Mr. Ziggler. Anyway, your 2K19 Collector's Edition is officially the Ric Flair Woo Edition. That's what they're calling it. The Woo Edition. That is official. Uh, and we have details on what is included in that both the, the Deluxe and the Collector. So let's break it down, shall we? Obviously, the Season Pass is a big one. We have Piper downloadable. We have Dusty, like NWA, WCW, Dusty, downloadable. We have Steamboat, downloadable. Macho Man, downloadable. And most hilarious to me, Big Evil Undertaker. Like, O2 Undertaker, which means you darn it now is going to be in the game. Or at least it better be in the game. Seriously. The game. Good night, man. Good night Ziggler. That's it. King, how impressive was Morris? Wait, what? I'll tell you, Michael. Why? That guy can do moves that are just out of this world. Well, coming up next, Ezekiel Jackson will take on the veteran Chavo Guerrero in a match you can only see on Friday Night SmackDown. And like superstars and main event and whatnot. Ooh, Chavo! Wait, what? Weekend Chavo Guerrero and Ezekiel, and then finish the last one standing just because you're mad. Okay, whatever. Also in that deluxe edition, we have an exclusive Starcade 83 ring or arena type situation, right? And also uh, the WrestleMania 24 robe for Flair, and also the WrestleMania 32 robe for Charlotte. All right, cool, fine, right? But that being said, Chavo, that being I can't can, can actually get in the ring. Chavo! There we go. But that being said, uh, you're including, you know, this obviously classic Flair and the classic Starcade Arena, but no mention of who Flair fought in that 83 Starcade, which was Harley Race? Like, that's not in there? Or they haven't announced it yet, so perhaps that's actually just on the disc. I guess we don't know now, do we? But we'll see. Alright, finish off in the ring. So we gotta get Chavo here into the ring if we can. And then follow him. And then pedigree. The poor Chavo. Sorry, Chavo. Pe pedigree for you, too. And done the game. Sorry to interrupt the show. But I've got to get something off my chest. I've spent the majority of the day questioning if I still have what it takes to compete here in the WWE. You know, the fact is I'm not 100%. But that's the nature of this business. This business. I don't really think I've ever been 100% any time over the last 17 years. So the question I had to ask myself is... Do I want this? Do I still... You're damn right I do. Here? You're damn right I do. You better believe it. Close enough. I can't wait to get back in this ring and compete against the best superstars in the world. And if you're Randy Orton... Miz, or anybody else in the back, listen close. I'm coming for the WWE Championship. And I promise you all right now, I will be a 17-time world champion. I mean, in the game, sure, but not actually in real life. So good luck with that, Mr. H's. Welcome to Friday Night SmackDown. Michael Cole and the Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler joining you from Cincinnati, Ohio. And King, we are two weeks away from Extreme Rules. Well, that's right, Michael. And last week, we learned that The Miz and the WWE Champion Randy Orton will face each other in a WrestleMania rematch. Ooh. And King, we also learned that the game is his sight zeroed in on the WWE Championship as well. <laughs> well, he can want that, Michael, but he will likely have to wait to face the victor at Extreme Rules. Anyway, your Collector's Edition. Obviously, all stuff is in the Deluxe Edition, but also a Hall of Fame replica ring. Oh, hey, Randy Orton. I heard what you said last week, and I can respect that. Look, Randy, I don't really care what you respect. Hey, watch it, Triple A. What? Why are they friends? It's all right, man. What? I want to make one thing clear, honey. Right now, Miz and his cronies have made life on SmackDown a living hell. We've been working to get rid of them, and that's something I'm sure you can appreciate. 
Sure. Look, you and I have a history, but I'm asking you to put that aside until we take care of the bigger threat. You know, I'm sure you're right, Randy, but the only thing I want is the WWE Championship. You and Miz go ahead and destroy each other. Either way, in the end, I'll be the one with the gold. The gold. No, excuse me. I have a match. Peace. Wow. Triple H doesn't appear to be at all interested in working with Randy Orton. Well, coming up next, we get to witness the return of the game as he takes on one of Randy Orton's allies, John Morrison. Oh, okay, there's a lot there, of friends. questions about the condition of Triple H, and we'll hopefully find out some of those answers tonight. Weird, but okay. Now, I suppose the biggest question I have about the replica ring, the Ric Flair Hall of Fame replica ring, is that the rings they sell on WWE Shop are like 50 bucks. So, is it going to be that quality or lower? Or, do the rings that they sell on the shop are overpriced because you assume most things they sell on that shop are overpriced? I don't know. But also, a exclusive Ric Flair Funko Pop with a big gold belt. And I'm like, I've made it this far in my life, never having to have a Funko Pop enter into my house. But now, that's ruined. He ruined me. I hate him. Um, and then also, more importantly, a plaque, a signed plaque. I think it's a signed plaque. With an actual piece of a Ric Flair robe. That's pretty cool. And the usual, hey, here's some super card stuff and whatever. I guess my other question is that if you're going to have... WrestleMania 24, Ric Flair in that robe. Would you also not have WrestleMania 24, Shawn Michaels in that attire? I'm hoping it's in the game, but again, things we don't actually know yet because they haven't announced them. So that's kind of what we, what we do know. And obviously, Deluxe is like, what, like 90 bucks? And then your Collector's woo, Edition is 130. So that's kind of my thing about the ring is that it's 130, and you figure if the ring costs 50, that's, you know, what does that say about the rest of the stuff? In that package, you know? I don't know. That's kind of my thought on that whole bit of beardness. But I suppose the value on the digital items is really zero because they're digital, you know? It's not like you're having to actually pr produce them. It's like, here's another card with a download code on it. Anyway, before I get into SmackDown, I kind of have a very limited time here to get into, into, into SmackDown. But one bit on Raw that I really, really liked. There's a little tiny thing on Raw. And when they had the B-team backstage, right... And they were getting ready to go fight Bray and Matt again, right? And Axel goes, the B stands for brother. And Bo's like, you're like the brother I never had. Which is amazing because Bray Wyatt, who he's fighting, is his actual real-life brother. Like, just little things like that I, I love. Absolutely love. It's like, it's for the inside, like the hardcore fans. And it's fantastic. Like, you know those guys wanted to put that in there. Just as kind of, a, hey, let's just stick that in there a little bit. And it was like, I laughed so hard. So, kudos on that. But overall, uh, having watched Raw and SmackDown now, SmackDown continues to be a better show. And I feel a lot of that is because of the fact that just Raw is three hours. And you've got like two hours of stories you're cramming into a three-hour show. And it just, you've got so much pointless stuff in there. Like, what's the point of having... Mojo beat up Tyler Breeze, you know? What's what's the point of Ember Moon fighting the Riot Squad again for, like, the third week? It's like, they don't really tell A to B to C stories. It's, it's Instead of it's, like, A to B to C, it's A, 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 oh, pay-per-view, C. You know, they, 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 they do so much tell and not show where it should be show and not tell. So it's like, we we hear about, oh, Mojo and all this stuff, like, every week, but it's not, you're not actually, nothing is changing. It's kind of the same thing every week. So, yeah, that's kind of my, my issue with Raw, if you will. Um, but SmackDown, meanwhile, just look at the first match on SmackDown. Rusev and Almas. Fantastic. It furthered the stories there, and it made a lot of sense, and it was good booking. So, even though Rusev lost, it furthered the story with Aiden English, and you know everything made sense there. And you were actually progressing a storyline instead of just hitting the same notes every freaking week. The game returns with a huge victory. And not only does leg hold up, but Triple H looked better than ever. And with this performance, you have to put Triple H way up there in the rankings for Randy Orton's WWE Championship. Sure, I guess. Fine.
And I have like a whole other page here of thoughts on SmackDown, but I'm out of time. So, I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. I'll see you next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.